world with various dietary trends and fast-paced lifestyles, the essence of understanding how our food choices impact our overall well-being often takes a back seat. Now I have food consultant Helene Meyer who will be um, conversating and discussing the connection of food with us and our bodies and to make delicious roasted tomatoes on a whipped feta and yogurt. This is a recipe that I'm, it's safe to say I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple and easy to prepare, so I'm happy to show you what to do. Um, can I quickly talk Go you through it? Dive straight in. Okay. I need it. <laughs> okay, so these baby tomatoes were just roasted in the oven and the beauty of a tomato is that its natural sweetness comes becomes more prominent when you roast them. So I'm going to make a quick marinade of a little bit of olive oil, balsamic vinegar, which is perfect with tomatoes, okay. and fresh rosemary. Mm. And then while that is marinating, I'm going to do the whipped feta. And the other beauty is that roasted tomatoes have quite a lot of juice in them. Mm. And that becomes part of your dressing when they marinate. Lovely. So a few simple ingredients, Loads of flavour. Helene, I have to ask you, I tend to avoid stems a lot, whether I'm dealing with rosemary or basil. Is that okay? Is that, is, or, or, or the more flavour, the more uh, yes, stems? Something like this marinade is going to become part of your plate. Mm. So then you don't want to chew on a big stalk. But if I was making a mince mixture, I would happily add the stalks for thyme, oregano, rosemary into the um, whole mince mixture because it softens enough that if you do end up having it on your plate, you can move it to the side, but if you end up eating it, it's also it's okay. fine. So in this case, I'm not using it, but otherwise, yeah, And Helene, no something that I've definitely ba uh, battled with is balancing healthy lifestyles, but also indulgence and just satisfying my taste buds and my body. What role does that both play, that connection with the body, but also a healthy lifestyle? I think what's important to remember is that balance, as you said earlier, is the key. I always say to people, if you can follow the guideline of moderation and variation, then you can have your slice of cake, but just don't eat the whole cake. <laughs> so you can indulge from time to time, but <laughs> having that balance, I think, makes it possible for you to still be healthy. Now, something for me that is so important is just being able to have the right ingredients. And what, what I definitely know is that you just put the feta in your blender, which means I need to get... Some yogurt, please. Some yogurt in the fridge. And this yogurt is just going to add the creaminess that we need in your dressing um, of this delicious, delicious meal. Yeah. Something else to remember is that feta is quite salty by mm. nature. So I am going to season the tomatoes with some pepper. And you could add a little bit of pepper to your whipped feta as well. But the don't be tempted to add a lot of uh, salt to okay. your dish. That's okay. not going to be necessary. Just like that. I mean, on my side, I'm just going to create the base as you whip everything up. Oh, there we go. That is what we are talking about. So I have put um, a base on and I'm adding some basil on the top. And as soon as you're done with your ingredients and everything, we're able to put this together. Yep. But I want to ask you, how can we attribute a good diet to a good body and mind? There's something called gut health, which is quite critical um, in terms of your mind and your body. And the, without going into too much detail about that, the principle is if it's healthy here, mm -hmm. it helps you to be healthy here and healthy here. Mm -hmm. So then it's a holistic approach. And people often don't understand that what goes on inside your system has an effect on so many other aspects of your life. Sometimes it's easy to sort of understand that indigestion or headaches are caused by what you eat. But people often forget that all of that is what happens in your gut. And by eating fresh and natural and as unprocessed as possible, you can help your gut to, in the end, keep your whole body and your mind healthy as Intact. well. Intact. Well, let's put it all together as you continue to whip it up. This is what we're talking about. Not only human connections in Zanti, but we're also talking about the connections between body, food, between our furry friends and ourselves, and making sure that we are well-rounded continuously. So as we do put this together, can I just get... I think I'm ready for your roasted tomatoes. Yep. 
With pleasure. And then I will dish that all up. And at the end of the day, this is what we are looking for. A balanced, nutritious, but deliciously looking meal. At the end of the day, we've got our rosemaries, we've got our tomatoes, basil, and of course, our delicious mixture. And on a hot day, like the weather we've been having lately, <laughs> that is such an easy, light meal to have. Yeah. It won't be your main meal, but it's also much healthier than another packet of crisps that you open up before a braai, for instance. Absolutely. So over the summertime, that is absolutely delicious. Mm. And people can just tuck in with small pieces of bread or have it just like that in a yes. small bowl with a teaspoon. Packed with flavour. And voila, last voila. tips and tricks between adding that balance that we so desperately need between body and food. I mean, a lot of people also speak about gut health. Yeah, and I think one thing that will help a great deal is if people can learn to avoid all the processed and convenience foods that's so easy to you know, Run to. rely on, <laughs> exactly. So if you can rather, as I call it, call, cook from scratch, and cook at home, then you know what goes into your food. I mean, what we just prepared, yes, the tomatoes were roasted, but it's not complicated, it's not expensive ingredients, but there's so much flavor because you're utilizing the natural ingredients characteristics with different cooking methods to bring out the flavor and there's no artificial elements in there that's harmful for your body. So well, keep I it fresh, very keep it much natural. Keep it fresh, keep it natural. That is what we're all about. If you want this recipe, please do head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. We'll catch you after the break, because now that we've eaten, I'm ready to jive. <laughs>